Sometimes I just post shit to confuse the enemy. Sometimes I just post shit to confuse the enemy. Hey guys, it's me, 1028 Awakenings here, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. All right, Scorpios, this reading is gonna be a little different if I can find the cards. Um, Cause I haven't, I haven't used them in a while. So I have cards like, they're, I think they're called Lemuria cards. I, I hate to do this, but I keep doing it. <laughs> okay, and this is basically ETs, extraterrestrial energy, Pleiadians is words that you may have heard around. Um, and I want to take a moment to do a reading on this particular energy because this is what's activating you guys' DNA. I don't care if you're cross-watching me. I don't care if you're watching my page because you're a hater. You're getting this information because you're actually moving into a transitional vibration <clears throat> with New Earth. Now, some of you guys are not. You guys, everybody not going. Many will be left behind. I don't want anybody to be fearful, but if you don't even believe this, your ass is getting left behind. And you should because you shouldn't be in a room with someone who doesn't believe. You know what I'm saying? So if she strongly feels like what you believe in is wrong, she should be with people who agree with her. And and, and you too, because that's your vibrational match. Um, so if you're very much against this energy, if you feel like, you know, 111 is a crock of shit and tarot card readings is not the best for you, you should definitely be left on old earth. That's where you need to be with other people who don't believe, you know. And if you believe in magical creatures, that you're going to be a millionaire, that you was put on earth to not just be working and shit like that. If you feel like life should be easy, but you also be, should be doing something you love, you should be on a vibrational match with that shit too. <clears throat> so with that being said... <clears throat> that's exactly what's happening that's exactly what's being reincarnated at this time so with these two new earths that look exactly but very very different what's happening in your life is that before you could go out here and you could be like yeah you know me and bethy becky or is me and beth is going out okay and y'all was cool but then when you go out with beth all beth do is talk about shit you like man i can't do this every day I don't want to do this no more. It used to be fun, but now it's too much. <clears throat> Y'all ain't friends no more. So now you don't know what Beth is doing every day. <clears throat> Beth don't know what you're doing every day. And now you guys are on two different earths. She over here. Your ass is over here. <clears throat> now, did she die? You don't know. You just know she's not there. <clears throat> I'm so sorry when my throat's bothering me. They don't want me to say this shit. So that is a new earth being formed. You do not deal with this person. Now, as you're moving on into this other earth, you don't have this nagging in your ear anymore. You got new people in your ear offering you jobs and opportunities or maybe even just manifesting like you and your friend just talk about as if, you know, on the phone. And it's another vibration and you're in a new vibrational frequency. You don't go back and look in to see what beth is doing you just continue to move forward because you're in your now moment now a lot of people who do look back they're not in their now moments people who constantly go back to their ex's page and see what they doing and stop them no they're in the past and they wish they would have made different decisions and things are holding them back there are things left unsaid and that's why they do that but people who continue to move forward you'll see these people because they'll continue to move forward you like damn you know it's not that these people don't talk to them anymore they're just continuing to move forward they have no regret of the past okay so with this new earth it's very important for you guys to know that this new earth is going to be taking on traits where we don't eat as much there's not a lot of intake of food so if you like dang my diet has really changed i ain't really eating a lot that is the reason why that's happening we're also going to be living long eternal lives okay and that's why everybody's not going you know that's why everybody's not going to be transitioning with us and it's okay you know what i'm saying because most of these people even if they're your family members especially if it's scorpio you have detached from them you have basically say you know what i have tried so much with you and i'm going to just let you go where you go and you have let them go you have let them go so it's not even no pressure you let them go in love bro what how do you do it? in love you know what I'm saying? So when you do that and you let people go in love and you realize they're going to be who they are, you're tired of trying, you're just going to move in another direction, you're okay. You will be secure with that, okay? So that's another thing that you guys are going to have to realize that you're going to be getting a new soul tribe, okay? Now this soul tribe is going to be more so people on your frequency. They match your vibration. When you talk, they listen. When you exchange energy, it's balanced. It's not a drain, okay? 
you don't have so many people talking shit about you i mean it's crazy like somebody you'll call somebody they'll be like yeah i don't know what she did with this and i don't know what she did with that and men no no da 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 and it's all this chatter about you when these people act like on the phone that they're supporting of you they're kind of you but then no they turn right back around and chat you and talk shit about you okay it's crazy but it's time for you to move on and be with people who don't talk shit about you and that very well be your family members now i do want to explain your family members right quick your family members are very, very close to you on the 5D. <clears throat> the people that teach you the hardest lessons, that stab you in the back, in the front, they like, oh, let me get that knife out of the front. Let me get you on the front. You know what I'm saying? Those people who stab you, they are very close to you in the 5D. That's why they volunteer for those particular roles because they knew that them stabbing you was going to be the best way for you to understand something. It was going to hit you so deep that it was going to put you to another timeline. I know that's really fucked up because you're like, well, why if I love them so much would they do that to me? I don't know. That's what it is. That's what I heard. That's how it volunteers and manifests. And to be honest, it is. You know, if your mama stabbed you a couple times and you realize you can't fuck with your mom, you're like, you know what? I'm not taking any more stabs from your ass anymore more vice versa with your father or family members or siblings or even just a friend you like you know what bitch that's the last time you're gonna steal from me ho you know at the end of the day you need those pivotal pushes so that you know that you need to back your ass up and stop putting yourself in those people's atmosphere i love you so much and i hope this reading helped bye to all of you watching here come close to the screen and listen people don't have to like you people don't have to love you they don't even have to respect you. But when you look in the mirror, you better love what you see. You better love what you see. Thank you to the critics. 